Welcome to SO36 Berlin, where I have Alex from Malevolence with me. Uh, first of all, if you would uh, introduce Malevolence to a new listener, what would you tell? Um, I would say we are like a bastard hybrid of Hatebreed, Pantera, Lamb of God. Um, just, you know, we've got... A we do, we do a bit of everything. We write the metal that we want to hear. We don't really kind of stick to one genre. We'll bring it, we'll incorporate lots of elements. Um, but end of the day, it's just heavy metal, straight heavy metal. Okay, you've been touring with the Despised Icon for almost a month now. How has the tour been? Yeah, it's been great. The shows have been really cool. It's probably been like the Euro, the sorry, the best European tour that we've done. Um, you know, they've got good turnouts every night, crowds going wild. Um, but it's been a nice uh, range of fans, you know, we've got like some hardcore kids, some me more metal fans, you know, t more tech death metal fans, most of the slam kids are coming out as well. So, you know, it's, it's been awesome, like really good reactions every night. Okay, and how has it been uh, with the other bands on the road? Any crazy stories? <laughs> um, no, nothing too crazy. It's been pretty tame this tour, but they're, they're all a good bunch of lads, really nice, really nice guys. Um, yeah, nothing too crazy. <laughs> okay, well, uh, live performances are, of course, you know, bread and butter for your kind of bands. But mm -hmm. uh, how important are live performances for you, actually? Um, they're probably the most important thing about being in a band. There's, n there's no better buzz than getting on stage and watching an entire crowd go absolutely crazy to the music that you make. That's why, that's why I make the music that we do. Um, I've, I've, I've been, I'm in a band to play live shows. I, d I don't really like going into the studio. I'm not one of them guys to just like love going into the, into the studio and writing stuff. I just want to go out on a stage, see kids lose their minds to it. And that's what it's all about for me. And yeah. You've got a good crowd that's, that's, you know, feeding back off you. You know, they're going crazy. They're singing along. There's no better, th no better buzz. Okay, let's talk about your latest album, Self Supremacy. Uh, what, how would you describe it in your own words? And maybe you can share something that nobody else hmm. knows yet. Um, I think the whole album in my opinion is what a metal album in 2018 should sound like. You know, it's got, every element of the kind of across the uh, spectrum of metal it's got a bit of tech a bit of like hardcore a bit of just straight southern riffs um and also like lyrics that make you want to go up and you know just succeed in life going going go whether it be whatever you're doing in that day makes you want to get up and go and be motivated to have a good day i guess <laughs> i mean you know do do your best um as for something that people don't know um, it. I don't really know. <laughs> you could say it took us a hell of a long time to to write the album. It was like three years since we put out our first album, Rain of Suffering, and we had so many setbacks in those three years. It wasn't just like a mixture of like us being busy and trying to balance full time jobs. It was like oh, whether it be like the studio mixes coming back and they weren't how they should be, or you know just things along the whole line that just took so many step backs. So I think people I think I think people thought we were, we were being lazy for 3 years when it it wasn't the case. The album was written probably a year and was ready to go a year before it actually came out uh, came out so um yeah, I don't think many people know that. <laughs> okay, and yeah, about the lyrics, uh where does the inspiration for those come from? Um I well I write the uh, I write most of the lyrics with uh, Wilkie our bassist, you know, we sit down um, and on the last album, there was a lot of lyrics that didn't really mean anything like, and we wanted to kind of step away from that on this album and try and think, right, let's write something a little bit more mature, um, and try and write something a bit more uplifting. Um, like my main inspiration, I think it was like hate breeds, stuff like that. You know, when you like, you listen to a hate breed song and it just fills you up with that kind of, like, oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I really don't know how to, how else to describe it. Just, you know, the hot, it's, it says everything in the title, self supremacy. It's just like being the best you can be. It's just like dominating everything because, you know, putting yourself first and make being the best that you can you can be. I guess. <laughs> okay, and uh, let's talk a bit about your merchandise. Uh, the, there are some notes to Pantera, Metallica, uh, Marlboro, uh, Playboy. So uh, where do, where do the designs come from, and uh, what's the deal? Um, 
Bulky, our basis basically does all the merchandise designs. We uh, <laughs> we we have been known to do a a couple of rip offs shirts. That's we always do that just just because the the fans love it. They always snap snap them up. Um, but I don't know really. You'd, uh, you'd have to you'd have to ask Wilkie that one. But yeah, he do, he does all the designs, and you know, we've we've always kind of had our own. We've always done all our designs ourselves, pretty much. Um, and we just, you know, we, we we make the merchandise that we want. We think people will wear and people will want to buy. And sometimes it works. Sometimes most well, most of the time it works. Sometimes it doesn't. But you, yeah, then you then you learn and don't do that again. <laughs> Okay, uh, your hometown Sheffield, we can see it in your music videos, or at least one music video. So uh, does the CD have some special meaning to you or not so much? Um, yeah, well, it got, it's, it's where we're, we're all from. It's our hometown, so it's, uh, it's, yeah, it's definitely got a special meaning to us. I mean, we always try and represent Sheffield wherever we go and, like, that's... Like I say, it's our hometown. So every time we play there, loads of people come out. They show love. Um, you know, the last time we played in Sheffield, we had 1,200 people there. Sold out venue, absolute carnage. Um, so yeah, there's, we've we've always every time we play Sheffield, uh, it's been crazy, and we've always kind of had a really strong um, loyal fan base in the surrounding areas of Sheffield. Just because from the moment we started playing shows from you know 50 capacity clubs We've worked our way up and just not jump not jumped any steps we just worked from built ourselves from the ground up and that in turn has led to us having a super large loyal fan base so it's cool chef i love sheffield it's okay. okay thank you very much and uh, break a leg tonight no, thank you very much appreciate it thank you